Adventure Tech, you know what Acid Pilot presents. Today we bring you a preview and a breakdown for the horror anthology XX, which is coming out later this week. XX is an anthology of four short horror stories all in one film. Much like Creepshow, Tales from the Crypt, Grindhouse, and the more recent VHS and Southbound, both of which have connections to this film. The difference is, XX is all produced by women. First I'm going to show you the trailer in its entirety, then I'm going to cut it up and break it down to see what we can expect from this film. What's in the box? Present. Can I see? Danny. Stop being so nosy. It's okay. I don't think anyone's been up here in a really long time. Maybe it's cursed. Your son tore my daughter's fingernails off. You're not going to punish him? Listen, you gotta eat something. It's been three days, buddy. Not hungry. Something's happening to Andy. <gasps> Something just terrible. You're not getting up from this table until you eat that pizza. Do you understand me? Just eat! If you don't eat, eventually you'll die. So? Up first is The Box, which is directed by Yuvanko Vukovic. I'm not familiar with any of her work, so I'm curious to see what's going to happen here. What's in the box? Present. Can I see? Danny, stop being so nosy. It's okay. Listen, you gotta eat something. It's been three days, buddy. Not hungry. Did you understand me? Just eat! If you don't eat, eventually you'll die. So? In the trailer, we only really see the boy look inside a box that a man's holding on the subway. The man does look a little odd, but it doesn't really give us a lot of information. After that, the boy appears to lose his appetite, his will to live, and just really doesn't really seem to know what's going on or really care what's going on. I think the purpose of this story really is going to be to figure out what is inside the box or what purpose the box has. I doubt we'll find out, but a story like this really works in an anthology format. It's not really that, you know, that deep of an idea to last for 90 full minutes, but maybe a half hour or 25 minutes would be great for it. You know, I think that the box probably shows him how he's going to die, or the meaning of life, or the lack of meaning of life, really. Of the four films in the trailer, this is the one that's really intrigued me the most. I don't think it's going to scare me, but I do want to know what's inside the box, or what's leading the boy to act like that. I don't think we'll really know what's inside the box, but I'm curious to see what this has to offer us. The next part of the anthology is Don't Fall. It looks like a werewolf film, so let's take a look at it. I don't think anyone's been up here in a really long time. Maybe it's cursed. Okay, so Don't Fall appears to be a werewolf story by Roxanne Benjamin. She was a producer on both Southbound and VHS, which were two other anthologies released over the last few years. The trailer doesn't give us much information other than there's a werewolf and a curse. The werewolf appears to be hunting people down and looks almost like a slasher movie. With the werewolf, there's usually some sort of twist to why the werewolf's there or who the werewolf is. Um, so we know it's probably related to some curse, but the werewolf could be there for hundreds of years, thousands of years, or it could just be there for a day or two. Um, he could even be a friend of the people in the film. We're just going to have to wait to see. I know I don't really like werewolf movies, but a short one that's maybe a half hour long inside this anthology might make it interesting to watch. We'll have to wait and see. Now, the most interesting werewolf stories I've ever seen were the video for Thriller, the Wear Car episode in Futurama, and The Monster Squad. Of all the stories in this anthology, this is probably the one that interests me the least, so I'm glad it's only going to be about 25 minutes so I can get through it, and maybe it will be interesting. We'll have a good twist. All right, and the next movie in the anthology is Her Only Living Son. Let's take a look. Your son tore my daughter's fingernails off. You're not going to punish him? Something's happening to Andy. <gasps> Something just terrible. Now, her Only Living Son's trailer didn't show us a lot of information. The only thing we really saw was that there was a mother who had an older son who seemed to have violent tendencies or aggressive tendencies, and she didn't know what to do. The only real information we get about the son is that he removed a child's fingernails in the school, 
which does appear to be a, you know, terrifying activity, but he doesn't seem to be a killer or anything like that. For some reason, the trailer reminded me of Halloween meets Carrie, or Michael Myers meets Carrie. I don't really know why. He doesn't seem to kill anybody. He just seems to give me that kind of vibe. You know, his mother seems understandably stressed. I'm not sure if the movie follows her or if it follows her son. You know, this isn't the first movie with a parent taking care of a child that's gone wrong. Like though most of those movies, is usually a satanic possession or something, so I haven't seen anything like that for this movie. But there's still always that possibility. Now, next up is Birthday Party. It's the last film in the anthology. It's by Andy Clark, or St. Vincent, as her stage name is. Now, this one shows us the least amount of information, but it also seems like it could be the most interesting. You know, the trailer for Birthday Party doesn't really show us that much information. All we really see is one woman sitting at a table, and she appears to be pretty drugged out. When it cuts out to show the people at the birthday party, we see a panda bear and a ghost and some other things. It looks like a Marilyn Manson having a birthday party in his mind. Now, I don't really know where this movie is going or where it's coming from. The trailer doesn't answer any questions. It just kind of gives you a bunch of questions. Uh, you know, you know she's at a birthday party or appears to be at a birthday party. Other than that, who knows what else is happening. Now, the panda bear reminded me of something David Lynch would put in a movie. It doesn't really serve a purpose. I just thought it was interesting. Now, that's my look at XX. It looks like it could be an interesting movie. I'll probably check it out. And if you like this video, leave it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe. And if you think that it's the worst thing you ever saw, just let me know and let me know why. If you want to check out my video on Jason in Mortal Kombat, kind of tells the story of why he's there, um, take a look right here. And if you want to take a look at something else, please do. Thanks for watching.